If you if you do these three things, you will have better road dodges. Three things. First thing, your feet gotta turn, right? Hips gotta drop. My hips and butt gotta drop down, right? Not this, not like this. You see what I'm saying? You're gonna lose the ball. My hips gotta drop so I can be explosive. The third thing is you gotta flip and pull this elbow and switch hands quickly so you can get out of the cut. As you pull this elbow, boom. As I pull this elbow here, to, after I switch hands, this foot got to come and get down here so I can get down here quicker. All great players, all players that can come out here and dodge really well, they know mentally when a rep is good and when it's not. So, so let's get to the point to where you should feel, you, you'll know, you'll know if a rep is good or not. Like, you, you know when you do something good or bad. I want you to tell me every time when you feel a good rep, I want you to tell me if you th thought it was good or not. Because what I'm trying to get you to do, I'm trying to get you to teach it to yourself because I already know how to like, I already know how to do it and teach it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get you to do it and learn how to teach it to yourself so that you won't need, like great players, they don't need coaches to help them get better. You see what I'm saying? Like, you watch basketball, right? If you take Caitlin Clark and put her on the basketball court, she'll work out on her own and know what to work on without a coach telling her what to do. There you go. There you go. Good. Good job. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Did you like the reps? Yeah, I thought that was good. You thought that was good? Yeah. Did you? The second one I did. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, you tell me. Was it? So, what I'm trying to get you to do is, I'm trying to get you to be like a coach to yourself. You see what I'm saying? If you can learn how to coach yourself, if you learn how to coach yourself, like, hey, Tess, that rep wasn't good. I gotta, I gotta do that over. Like, my footwork was bad right there. I gotta do that rep over. That's gonna help you, one, it's gonna help you with your self-talk. Cause you're not gonna get down on yourself. You're gonna talk to pick yourself up to get better. And then again, too, you have to learn how to like, what you need to work on, what to do, what not to do. So it applies to you. Separation on the road dodge does not happen when I make my move. The separation happens when I turn and flip out. But when you hear, boom, the separation happens from when you switch your hands to when you turn to sprint out. That's what a separation happen is. It's called separate. So when you right here, when you make your move, it's a foot race to get to this spot to finish. This is something that you gotta start thinking about if you wanna have good road dodges. Come here, come here. When you're right here, Run this way, run this way. Now, if I'm a defender and my hips are like this, if you roll back, roll back, roll back, if you roll back, my hips, my hips are still straight towards you, I can just redirect and stay in front of you okay. if my hips are still square. So you should see, you should get my hips going here, right? Now roll, right? You see how hard of an angle that and, and, and difficult of a motion that is for a defender to turn around and try to catch back up to you? Because there is no way in the world, this person should be able to change directions like this, and my hip and their hips are going this way, and you're trying to roll back and go this way. There's no way they should be able to turn around and get back in front of you.